My name is Chase Penny, and I'm a stay-at-home dad. I love it, but we all gotta recharge the battery every now and again. I'm Luke Rogers, and I grew up in Chico, California. I want a job that doesn't feel like a job every morning. It felt like it's something I wanted to get up and get out of bed and do. My name is Stephen Helmkamp. I am a pharmaceutical rep. This career, it's not for me. There's gotta be something better out there for me. So this is, uh, this is it, guys. Last day, man. Last day. Last day in paradise. I know. I'm kind of, kind of bummed, actually. We gotta go all out today. So it's our last day, and we want to make the best of it. So, you know, what better way to cap off our trip than to check out Molokini Crater, one of the world's premier snorkeling spots. We're going to head out to Molokini, you guys, and uh, try to get the best sailing we can. The winds are just starting to pick up. Looks like it's going to be a great day. Right on. OK. So we get on this sailboat, and, and we take this, this gorgeous ride out to Molokini Crater. All you guys right. want to take the helm, watch, learn how to trim the spinnaker and stuff? Yep. Come on back. For me to be back on a boat was was great, you know, and, and the captain was awesome, the deckhands were awesome. And, you know, Captain Greg let us pull in a sail, let us put out a sail. Get the grit in the teeth. Okay, you're up. Uh, yeah, look at that. I got to drive, I got to steer. All right, so you'll get a feel for the helm there. Yeah. All right. I got to be a captain for a second. Um, that was really fun. We saw some, some huge whales come up. That was really pretty. That was really beautiful. I felt like we were on like a whale tour. You know, it took about 45 minutes to get out to Molokini Crater. Yeah, so we dropped anchor and then we put on our snorkel gear. And uh, hopped into the water and paddled over and we knew we had hit the spot. We jumped into the water, saw, I mean, it was just like aqua green, aqua blue water. It looked like a screensaver. <laughs> water was clear, the visibility was amazing, the wildlife was amazing. These fish, they wouldn't dart off, you know, they would just like chill and hang out there and just kind of look at you and you're looking at them and, all right, that's cool. The coral underneath is is just pristine, you know, it's, it, you can't touch it, it's just in perfect condition. It was every color you can imagine, and it was endless, endless amounts of reef. It was probably one of the most amazing things I've seen in the water. The coolest part of the reef, this complete drop-off of, of, of a reef, I mean, it's something that you see out of a movie. It was amazing, it's like a cathedral, like a thing dropped off for hundreds of feet, and you could, you could even see where the bottom was. It was crazy, you know? It was scary, but beautiful at the same time. Uh, the snorkeling experience, you know, on the scale of snorkeling experiences is probably a 10. I think we got to experience something not a lot of people get to experience, and you got to see things that, you know, you don't see every day. Out, I got caught a bit on inside, and I got pushed into the rocks that we weren't supposed to get pushed into. The best place to get perspective is to live on the edge. So that's where you're gonna be living for the next little while. You're gonna be living on the edge. That was a great kind of kickstart to 